Welcome back to Deal Unboxing. HP has introduced a new budget gaming laptop called Victus, and it is available with AMD's latest Ryzen 5 processor. So in this laptop review, we're going to go over the features, specs, benchmarks, and do a teardown of HP laptop. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, we have a HP laptop, power adapter, quick start guide, and warranty information. Now let's look at the specs. The laptop is powered by 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel, AMD Ryzen 5 7535HS processor, 8GB DDR5 RAM, 512GB NVMe PCI hard drive, AMD Radeon 660 graphic card and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2050 graphic card, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3, webcam and microphone, 52 watt hour 3 cell battery, Microsoft Windows 11 and weighs only 5 pounds. Now let's look at the ports. We have one USB Type-C port, two USB Type-A port, one RJ45 port, one HDMI 2.1 port, and SD card reader. The laptop comes with 720p webcam and microphone. Following is a video quality from the webcam. The camera's picture quality is okay, not the best we have seen from a 500 laptop category, but will be good enough for video calls or Zoom meetings. Overall, HP Victus 15 gaming laptop has a relatively simple design for gaming laptop. Its hinges design and V logo overall gives some gamer aesthetics. Overall, it's low key and won't stand out in any gaming laptop category. The build quality is good. The overall construction is plastic, but feels very solid with great weight distribution. There's extremely low flex in the body and it does not pick any fingerprints at all. The construction does not feel cheap and body will be able to withstand general day-to-day -day usage. And screen hinges are very well constructed, but you need a little help from other hand to open the lid up. When it comes to upgradability, you have some options. Opening the back cover of the laptop is easy by removing the screws and removing the back cover. You can upgrade the DDR5 RAM from 8GB to 32GB max. The laptop comes with Wi-Fi 6 card and it can be upgraded to Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 7 card in the future. But Wi-Fi 6 is one of the latest standards and extremely fast. The laptop's PCIe NVMe SSD is also upgradable. The unit comes with 512GB NVMe SSD. Battery is rated for 3 cells, 52 watt hour and gives you 5-6 to six hours of runtime on mixed usage with brightness set to 60%, which is okay not the best. The laptop comes with fast charging and able to charge laptop up to 50% in 30 minutes, which is really great for students who needs laptop for college and charge them quickly for the classes. As far as the cooling is concerned, laptop is equipped with multiple heat pipes and dual fans which keeps the laptop running cool under CPU intensive workloads. And during our stress test, temperature never crossed 95 degrees Celsius. You can hardly hear the fans even during CPU intensive workloads. So great job by HP. Now let's talk about specs and features. The laptop's visuals are handled by integrated AMD Radeon 660 graphic and Nvidia GeForce RTX 2050. Watching YouTube HD content looks really good on 15.6 inch IPS Full HD display. And this display works surprisingly well in every light condition. The screen brightness comes in around 250 nits, which is not winning any brightness contest. Also, the viewing angles are good, with good contrast ratio. Watching Full HD content really shines and fast moving objects. The 144Hz display is best suited for dark to low light conditions, and it's get really dim at low brightness. The screen has good reflection handling. Its mate coating is effective, but lots of glare in my opinion. The HP Victus 15 display colors out of the box is decent, but overall, the color gamut is bad. The laptop's keyboard is great. It has a spacious key layout that is easy to get used to. It is good for longer typing experience. The pressure point is little noticeable, provides clicky feedback, and decent key travel. Overall, the keyboard feels great to type on and does not cause fatigue over an extended period of typing. The touchpad is great and decent size, and it provides a smooth gliding experience. Tracking is accurate as well. The only downside is that you can only click in the bottom half of the touchpad. Now let's talk about laptop performance. Laptop is equipped with Ryzen 5 7535HS CPU. The processor is based on AMD Zen 3 Plus architecture with 6 nanometer technology, with 6 cores and 12 threads, with base clock speed of 3.3 GHz and a maximum clock speed of 4.55 GHz with 35 to 55 watts power requirement. The processor is a refresh of old Ryzen 5 6600HS and 6600H with 50 MHz higher boost clock speed. It is used in budget gaming laptops and its performance is sufficient for everyday general usage, office tasks and gaming. AMD also switched the built-in graphics AMD Radeon 6600M chip to RDNA 2 architecture with 6 of the 12 CEU enabled and 1.9 GHz max clock speed. Now let's look at some benchmarks. AMD Ryzen 5 7535HS processor 
scored 9,850 points in Cinebench Multi-Thread CPU Performance Benchmark and 1,488 points in Single Core Test, running at 3.3 GHz. And comparing it against AMD's second-gen Ryzen CPUs, you can clearly see the performance difference. This is a great multi-core performance by AMD's latest CPU and completely destroying its Intel counterparts in every category in Cinebench Multi-Thread CPU Performance Benchmark. And in CPU Z Benchmark, laptops scored 4,377 points in multi-thread and 596 points in single thread. Again, great performance compared to its counterpart and previous gen AMD CPUs. Next in Geekbench CPU Benchmark, AMD Ryzen 5 CPU score 1,941 points in single core and 6,661 points in multi-core, which is also good for its category and much better than the previous gen AMD CPUs. Also in Geekbench GPU Benchmark, GPU scored 47,370 points, which is really good enough for online gaming and some PC gamings. Next in Passmark, HP Victus 15 scored 6,900 total points. With CPU score 18,654 points, 2D graphics score 539 points, and 3D graphics score 8,939 points, and DDR5 RAM score 2,191 points, and NVMe SSD score 42,456 points. The laptop's 512 GB Western Digital NVMe offered great read and write rates. Our unit scored 3,063 megabytes per second read and 1,958 megabytes per second write in SSD benchmark. The fast NVMe SSD makes a tremendous difference in laptop's performance and responsiveness. And good thing, as mentioned before, you can upgrade the NVMe to bigger or faster NVMe SSDs. Let's do the final summary. Overall, HP Victus 15 gaming laptop is an excellent low-budget gaming laptop in the market. The laptop offers excellent performance to price ratio. The latest 6 nanometer AMD Ryzen 5 7535HS is simply an excellent CPU when it comes to computational power for its category. And I feel AMD made its Intel counterpart CPU obsolete in the sub-500 gaming laptop category. And its NVIDIA discrete graphics is powerful enough to provide smooth gaming experience in demanding titles at 1080p resolution. And its built-in AMD graphic chip is powerful enough to handle 4K video playback as well 144 refresh rate to enjoy the HD content. But on the other side, it has slow response time causing some ghosting and it does not support variable refresh rate. From my standpoint, the HP Victus 15 gaming laptop is an excellent buy for under $550 and our unit price was $519 which is the best currently price available in the market for this laptop and which could be the best gaming laptop for students as well. Let me know what you guys think of the laptop review in the comments below. If you like this video, please sub to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.